I'm Ted Koppel. Coming up on Nightline, today a Navy court recommended his discharge, his offense, speaking out on Nightline. He'll be back tonight. A Navy officer who announced on ABC's Nightline program that he's homosexual cannot get back into the service. A military board voted to grant an honorable discharge to Tracy Thorne. That the Supreme Court could take up this case within the next two years. Probably not in Tracy's instance, but in some of the other cases that began some time ago. There's also a challenge to the new policy generally on behalf of a variety of anonymous service members. And that case, too, could lead to a Supreme Court ruling within, I would guess, three to four years. What I'd like to do, uh, we're going to take a short break now, is when we come back, discuss how, if at all, things have changed inside the military. Tracy Thorne, from your personal experience and from what the other two of you are hearing. We'll be back in a moment. And we are back with David Mixner, Tom Stoddard, and Tracy Thorne. Tracy, how have things changed in the military over the last couple of years? At all? Uh, no, sir, they haven't changed uh, one bit at all. I tell you, uh, uh, what it comes down to is the policy used to be that if the military found out that you were gay, they would kick you out. And now, if they find out that you're gay, they're going to kick you out. The, uh, the policy actually says, uh, says that we'll kick you out only for conduct. But then shortly afterwards in the policy, it says that conduct includes saying that you're gay or if somebody else finds out that you're gay. And so inherently, just by saying that you're gay, you can now be kicked out. And, um, you know, the policy has such convoluted ideas in it. Uh, in the DOD regulations, that say you can go to a gay bar, but you can't dance. Or you can march in a gay parade, but you can't carry a sign. You know, it, it absolutely makes no sense. Has it literally been spelled out that way? In other words, are there... Are there documents you can pick up that sort of give you a guideline for what is and is not acceptable behavior for someone who is gay but cannot talk about it? Yes, sir. We actually put that into uh, evidence in my board of inquiry uh, earlier this week. And I think it's important to note that, uh, that, that my case has always been about my orientation. It's not been about conduct. And that I was, you know, I lost my job because I told the truth. That's all I did was just tell the truth. And the Department of Defense would rather me lie about who I am. Let's come back again, uh, David Mixner, if we could, to the issue mm -hmm. of this as a political question. To well, what I, I mean, to what degree are you prepared to just let the courts take their time and deal with this issue, as inevitably they are going to, and to what degree are you going to make someone pay any sort of a political price uh, for the, the either action they're taking or uh, action that they are declining to take? I don't think any individuals with, who have a conscience can sit aside and let good Americans like Tracy Thorne be persecuted, be driven from their careers, and be driven from their dreams. I think it will be an issue in certain Senate races on both sides uh, this fall. I think uh, people like uh, <coughs> Senator Wofford, who uh, voted wrong on this issue in the Senate, will be held accountable in Pennsylvania. I think it will be brought up against courageous constitutional conservatives like Senator Robb and Senator Kerry from the other side. So I think it will be a major issue this fall, and I think in 96. It will take four to five years, perhaps, to walk this process through the courts. And we can't allow hundreds of human beings to have their lives destroyed uh, quietly and silently without the nation being aware of what's going on. Literally since the uh, president has taken office, uh, hundreds of individuals have been driven from the military, and it continues as as uh, Lieutenant Thorns is just the most visible example. As I, uh, as I mentioned at the top of the broadcast, Mr. Stoddard, uh, fewer uh, are being dismissed from the military now. Uh, it doesn't amount to a whole lot. I mean, we're talking about, I think, 680 during fiscal year 1993. Uh, annualized, it looks as though it'll be about 480 in fiscal 94. Uh, from the reports that you are getting and from your own research into this, has anything changed uh, in the military? No, nothing has changed in the military, and in some ways, the circumstances are worse for service members who are identified as lesbian and gay, because the policy has always been used by service members who want to harass other people, who have a grudge against them, who want to punish them in some fashion, for something unrelated to their sexual orientation. The existing policy, which is even screwier, as Tracy indicated a moment ago, than the old policy, still gives these malicious people an opportunity to punish, harass, and blackmail members of the American Armed Services who simply want to serve their country. One of, I, the, one of the three cases that, uh, that, that we just sort of referred to, I mean the, the, the two others in addition to Tracy Thorns, uh, involved a commander asking someone serving under him whether or not he was gay. 
that, at least on the surface, would seem to be a classic example of what you can no longer do. Right. The policy is essentially unenforceable because in the military, commanders have great discretion over people's lives. We have now learned of quite a few circumstances in which commanders, in which psychotherapists, in which clergy members have asked people the question that is now supposed to be impermissible. The truth of it is, the truth of it is that this policy, so long as it exists, will continue to serve as a harassment technique by people who want to harm others that they don't like. Until the policy is changed at its base, people will continue to suffer consequences that are unfair and un-American. Uh, Tracy, go I ahead. Wanted to thank yes, sir. I actually uh, have had personal experience with this since I've been back in the Navy. had a young petty officer come up to me who uh, was being harassed about uh, people were coming up to him and harassing him and asking him if he was gay. He went to security to try and get it stopped, and the base security then turned around and started an investigation on him as to whether or not he was gay, and now he's facing discharge. And uh, this type of thing is going on all over our country. The uh, don't ask, don't, ta don't tell is a fallacy. It is a, it is a policy that is continuing to uh, discharge people for simply uh, being honest. We are, we are literally down to our last few seconds on the broadcast, so let me give them to you, uh, Tracy, to uh, just sort of give a sense of whether you feel it's all been worthwhile. I mean, that you, you've come a long way in two years, uh, although you haven't moved very far along the, along the track. Yes, sir, it's been absolutely worth it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. I tell you, uh, my daddy used to always tell me that uh, the right thing to do is not always uh, the easy thing to do, and this hasn't been easy. And would I like a Navy career? You're damn right I would. And I may not have that now, but this has been the right thing to do, and people have got to continue to stand up for those things. Tracy Thorne, thanks very much. David Mixner, Tom Stoddard, good of you to join us. I'll be back in a moment. Tomorrow night on 2020, the story of hopelessly paralyzed patients who thought they'd found a miracle. What really happened to them on 2020, tomorrow on this ABC station? And that's our report for tonight. I'm Ted Koppel in Washington. For all of us here at ABC News, good night. If you wish a printed transcript of Nightline, call Journal Graphics at 1-800-ALL-NEWS. If you wish a video cassette version of Nightline, the cost is $14.98, plus $3.95 shipping and handling. Call 1-800-ABC-9420. Nightline is a presentation of ABC News. More Americans get their news from ABC News than from any other source.